I'm gonna be trapping muskrats with over $1,000 of supplies. But right now I gotta try to catch a muskrat with a $0 budget. This is gonna be a little bit tricky. So I'm at this huge trash pile and the plan is to find materials to make a homemade muskrat trap. Guys, check this out. There's a pipe right here. I think I could get muskrats to swim through this. Homemade muskrat pipe set. I think it could work, but let's keep looking. Okay, there's gotta be something good in here. Here's some wire right here. I could use this to make a homemade colony trap. A colony trap is a simple trap made out of wire that can catch multiple muskrats at a time. You think I could catch a muskrat with a bike? Probably not. There's like an old grill rack. I could probably make the muskrat doors out of this. I'm not using the Optimove tools for this. Epic time lapse music starting now. <laughs> Here's all the materials I got. Let's go to the shop and get building. Right there's the pond I'm gonna be trapping muskrats with the zero dollar traps. And here are the traps. First up is this trap. Looks pretty good. This is the best one I made. This is a colony trap. I made it out of that wire. So when the muskrats swim through here, they're not smart enough to lift the doors out and they die. Next up, the tube trap. Kind of the same as the other one. I got these little doors right here that hopefully the muskrats will swim through. I don't know if this one's gonna work, but it's the second best trap I made. Here's my final trap. Yeah, the doors like don't even close all the way. These muskrats, if they get caught in this, they'll probably be able to be able to escape. There isn't a lot of good muskrat spots in this pond, but the spots that are here are really good. Here's the first spot. Like you can see that trail really good. It's kind of muddy, so you know the muskrats are using it. This is the best trail right here. Like you can see how far out that goes. So I'll set one trap here, one trap there and then the other one over there. This is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited for this video because I haven't done any trapping for so long. I've been looking forward to making this video for a while. Little did I know this is gonna be the worst trapping experience I've ever been on. Let's go ahead and set the best trap in that really big trail. Okay, so here's how you set these. It's really easy. You just find the muskrat trail and you drop it down. I can about guarantee you that's gonna have a muskrat tomorrow. If it doesn't, I don't know. Oh. Okay, I think I got that in a pretty good spot. I will be really surprised if we get a muskrat in there though. Okay, time to set the last trap. Okay, that one's set. While we're waiting for those traps to make a catch, let me tell you about this awesome game that is free to download with incredible graphics and over 80 million downloads. This is a game you can play casually or compete to be the best. With over 800 unique champions from different factions, there's basically no limit to how you can customize and build your champions to take on all the bosses. I'm talking about Raid Shadow Legends. You must click the link in the description to receive Light Swarm, an epic champion from the Sacred Order. His kit allows you to keep a team alive with an increased defense buff and a revive on death skill. In addition, once you achieve level 15, you'll also receive Juliana, another epic champion and boss killer from the Sacred Order. She's an attack type warrior wielding the magic affinity which makes her very powerful against the enemy's affinity. Additionally to the bonuses I just mentioned, I also have promo codes for new players so you can get free champions. The first promo is get Aboro. Aboro is an epic champion from the Shadowkin faction and is stronger when debuffs are placed on the enemy. Use promo code RAID for Kellen to get Kellen the Shrike. An epic champion that has useful powers against a number of different bosses. The next code you can use is RAID for Mord. Mordecai is another epic champion from the Sacred Order faction. Mordecai has the ability to burn enemies and makes them useful on any team especially for bosses like Spider and Hydra. The final code I have is available for new and existing players. Use promo code I love Raid to get Preserver, a rare champion from the Banner Lords faction. Preserver has a powerful decreased defense debuff which will help in taking out the enemy faster. That's a rare move that not many heroes carry and will significantly help early in the game. To redeem these promo codes tap on the tab on the left hand side of the screen when in the bastion and then select the promo codes option. Once in the promo codes window type in your Raid Shadow Legends promo code and hit confirm. You'll receive confirmation if your entry was successful and you can then claim your rewards from your inbox in the bastion. Promo codes are limited to one per person and you must wait 24 hours after entering a promo code before entering another one. Make sure to click my link in the description or scan the QR code to get two epics and don't forget to pick one promo code for new users to get a third epic. Plus get a rare champion from the promo code for all users. Once you're in and crushing your enemies come find me under the name Blocketh and join my clan Blocketh Battles and we will be legends together. So just hit my link in the description I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Alright guys we're back at the pond. I think it's been over a week and I've literally I literally already finished filming the $1,000 muskrat trapping part and I think we got one in the zero dollar trap. I think we do. I could see something down there so I stuck a stick down there and I think we got one. Moment of truth. Do we got one? I'm gonna be so depressed if there's no muskrat. Yes, we got a muskrat. Camera sucks. I need a new camera. Yeah, we got a muskrat. Finally, a muskrat. I don't know why it took so long to catch a muskrat in this 
Pretty nice rat. You might think these are like an ugly animal or something because they look like a rat, but really these are like the softest fur ever. Like a mink is not even as soft as this. And look at this, I just took it out of the water. All the hair underneath, like the guard hairs is completely dry. So when these things are swimming through the water, they're not getting the drop of water on, like on their skin. Very cool animal. <laughs> Okay guys, it's time for the fun part, trapping muskrats with over $1,000 of supplies. The pond I'm gonna be setting most of the traps in is right there. There's over half a dozen muskrat houses in there, so there's a lot of muskrats. If you ever wondered what $1,200 of muskrat supplies looks like, there it is. We're gonna get to unboxing it. I know, we got a lot of boxes here, so I'm gonna be quick unboxing this stuff. The first box, we got some hip waders. So now I can go out in the deep water, and I can go in water that's this deep. It's like six feet deep water. I got three of these things. These are called muskrat flutes. These float in the middle of the pond and you can put a foothold trap right here, put some bait on there. Also in the bottom of this box, I think I got half a dozen of these colony traps. This is the same as what I was using for the zero dollar muskrat traps, but these are actually good traps. Doors actually flip up nice and good. When we check this tomorrow, we could actually have half a dozen muskrats in one of these. Let's open up this really tall box. We got some traps. I bought a dozen 110 Kana bears. Jeez, these are strong. These are good for like putting over muskrat holes and bank dens and stuff like that. When the muskrats swim through, they hit this trigger and it snaps on them and it's kind of like a mouse trap. Some muskrat lure, pliers, flagging so I know where all my traps are at. Whole bunch of trapping wire and this, I think this was like 80 or $90, this trapping basket. We got tons of stuff in this box. Look at all these traps, got half a dozen of these. Duke coil spring traps and we got some long springs half a dozen of those this $20 pole I got this so we could just reach down in the deep water pull out my colony traps like that I think it'll be worth it these are some trapping gloves there we go now I look like a professional muskrat trapper. Okay, we got some more stuff in here. Next, I bought some of these wooden stakes. These will be good for staking down those cotton bears down there in the deep runs or something. I got a dozen of these really long stakes. In this box is a muskrat trap that was like $150. This is the most expensive muskrat trap I could find online. Boom. You can see it has these little foam tubes on the sides. That's so it can float out in the middle of the pond. And here's how it traps the muskrats. Just latch off. Little platform folds out for the muskrats to climb up on. Put some bait inside of there. When they get up here to get the bait, they go through this door. It's kind of like a colony trap. Flips down so they can't get out. They're stuck in the top floor of the muskrat trap. And then they can go down here. There's a second floor. They go down in the bottom underwater and then they drown in there. Pretty cool trap. I've never seen something like this before. I'm really curious to see if this will actually trap muskrats. I can't wait to test it out in the pond over there. Guys, it's time to get trapping. I got my trapping basket loaded up with supplies in there. Let's go head over to the pond and set some traps. I've never walked in deep water like this before because I've never had hip waders. This is so weird. But check this out. There's a good one right there. At this first big muskrat house, we got a cona bear and a foothold trap. You can see right here, it looks like some muskrats come up and kind of sit here. It's like a little feed bed for them. A little bit of chewed up roots right here too. So I saw that and I knew I had to set a foothold right here. What's good about these really long wooden stakes, since it's so muddy, I can just push them down. I don't have to worry about the muskrats pulling them out. And I got it wired off to the top and set my trap. I'm gonna kind of make a little spot for the trap to sit. I want it just underwater a little bit. There we go, that looks like a pretty good set to me. I've actually never trapped muskrats or muskrat houses in my life. So I don't really have any idea what I'm doing, but I was afraid of that. So I went to the store and bought a whole bunch of carrots for bait. So what I'm gonna do, get my cotton bear right here. I'm just gonna stick it on the trigger for a baited set. Hopefully the muskrats will come to eat the carrot and we'll get them. It looks like there's a huge run right there. If I can get a trap out there, probably have a muskrat there tomorrow. That's how muddy it is. Like the whole stake just went underwater. It is kind of deep there though. I spent the rest of the day setting traps. Like I said, I've never really trapped muskrats this way before. So I was just putting out a bunch of low quality sets. The trapping basket I bought, I thought was going to be the biggest waste of money ever, but it was actually the most useful thing I bought other than the traps. I could walk out to the muskrat houses with all my gear with me, set the basket on the house and get to work setting all the traps. All right guys, I got about half the pond set. Ran out of time for today. So tomorrow I'm going to come back out here and set the rest of the pond. We'll just set all the traps I have, I guess. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the check all right y'all it's the next day let's go check some traps all right coming up on the first spot i didn't know what to do with all the colony traps so i just put them in this channel stacked all of them up here i don't see any muskrats though oh man remember that foothold trap i set here got set off so after he set that we only had one other trap here it's the baited set we got nothing i can see it out there let's house number two empty trap 
Empty trap. And after checking a bunch of empty traps, I came up to the last muskrat house of the day. Trap's gone. Come on, man. Oh, I think we got one. Yes, we got a muskrat. The last trap. The last trap I had. Check it out, finally. Pretty nice muskrat. I was starting to think I spent a thousand dollars on muskrat traps and I wasn't going to catch one. There he is, nice little marsh rat. Got him on the entrance of this muskrat house right here. Muskrat number one bagged. I spent the day setting the rest of the muskrat traps I had, so I had every single muskrat trap out, including the expensive muskrat trap. So for bait, I just stuck a bunch of carrots in there. Now I'm gonna add some of this stuff, this muskrat lure. This stuff smells so good. It smells like candy or something. Put it on top of these carrots right here. Put a big glob on top of this cattail, get the scent in the air. And that's it, we got all the traps out here. Hopefully we have more than one muskrat tomorrow. All right, day number two of checking. I'm guessing we'll have three muskrats. I already checked the house over there, nothing. This one's got nothing either. We're not off to a good start. All right, this is the muskrat house. I caught one yet yesterday. And got a floating muskrat right here. First one on a foothold. Oh yeah, look at that catch, perfect. Pretty nice one. Get this trap reset, hopefully we get another one tomorrow. There we go. Oh goodness, these colony traps are in the way. Think that's right? Yeah, I got it. Okay, let's keep checking. I think I put a foothold right here and I don't see it. Oh, we got nothing. They must be setting it off with their chest or something when they slide up here. This is like the most exhausting trapping I've ever done. Like I'm just walking through this stuff all day. It sucks. It takes so much energy to get out of this mud. All right, I'm gonna get this trap reset and we'll keep checking. Nothing. I didn't have high hopes for this one. This is the third time checking them. Oh, uh, guys, this ain't good. I got a goose. Oh, this is not good. He's in my foothold trap. He just pulled the stake out. Uh, I do not know what to do. I did not think I was going to catch a goose. I'm going to check all my traps first before I deal with that goose. And I think I just got a muskrat down here. I could feel something down there. Oh, yeah. Got another one. It's in that same entrance to this hut again. Another pretty nice looking muskrat. All right, I'll get this thing reset and keep checking. Looks like we had some action at the expensive trap. Bunch of carrots are knocked down. No muskrat though. I wonder if one climbed on top and knocked all of them down. Oh my gosh. This actually sucks. Oh! Oh. No muskrat. Can't do this anymore. This trapping is the worst. I'm pulling all the traps tomorrow here and we're going trapping in the creek because I cannot walk through this marsh anymore. And averaging one muskrat a day, it's not worth it. Plus a goose. All right, I have to come back with a kayak. Oh my gosh. No. Goodness. I'm gonna have to like trap them in the sticks or cattails or something. Get that stake caught up in there. Come here, goose. Trying to save you. No! Stay calm. Don't fly. No! Don't fly, you stupid animal. Don't get caught in my muskrat float either. No muskrats in the muskrat floats. Those things are worthless. Okay, I got them trapped. Oh, got it, got it, got it. He's just caught by a toe, so he'll be perfectly fine. There he goes. Chase him down in the water. Make sure he flies away okay. There he goes. He's all wore out, he can barely make it up the trees. <laughs> there he goes. On check day number four, I didn't even catch a single muskrat, so I pulled all the traps, packed them up, and headed down to the creek to do some more trapping. I've spent almost my whole life trapping in creeks like this, so I have a lot more experience with what I'm doing. I've caught muskrats in this creek before, but it's not guaranteed to hold muskrats every year. Some years there is muskrats, some years there isn't, probably due to the fact that there's mink tracks everywhere through this creek. Mink don't travel through the same areas as often as muskrats do, so the key is to set a bunch of traps at one location to have a better chance of catching a mink when it does come through. How? That is not a muskrat. What is the deal with catching fish? Ugh. I caught one in here 
like the other day and I used it for bait and then I caught this giant one giant sucker thing all right guys it is check day number five and we finally got something we finally got a furred animal no more fish we didn't get a fish this time it was that spot with all the mink tracks going up in those roots I put a little long spring foothold trap over here and we got us a mink we did get a bunch of snow last night must have caught this one pretty early he's frozen in the ice oh yeah that's a pretty good mink pretty big one I think it's a female I haven't caught a mink in a long time not a very good catch on it but we got him don't forget to use my Raid Shadow Legends link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen to get insane bonuses for new players with an epic champion. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.